Listen, folks, so you know there has been an absence of congressional action when it comes to curbing um, the use of guns and gun control. And in, in that absence, uh, a private company is coming up with its own lucrative solution to solving a lot of these problems. One manufacturer of a lightweight armored cars for public figures are now making marketing bulletproof whiteboards that can be used to bar classrooms that are under attack. The International Arming Corporation Safe Board started $1,800 now, $1,800 on either side. There, it's, it locks over the door and folds away from the wall, creating a shield that for a 37 year old that shields up to 37, up to 37 people. 37 seven-year-olds, excuse me, I'm reading the, the copy wrong, according to Fast Company. Um, and, I, I, and, you know, I get, listen, I understand why companies are doing this, because companies are saying, hey, listen, we got to protect the schools, we got to protect these students, and guess what? The United States government is doing nothing to help in this process. The United States government has been quiet. It's almost, it's a deafening silence on gun control, because the NRA has our Congress by the balls, and we can't get anything done. Background checks, making sure the schools are gun-free zones, making sure that nobody in the school has a gun. Not arming teachers, making sure that nobody has a gun. And so what's happening is, is companies and the private sector is coming in saying, well, hell, well, since we know that there might be another gun shooting again, might, maybe we should give you these, you should buy these doors that are bulletproof. Why? I don't, like, bulletproof doors don't, in school, like, don't resonate in the same, like, lexicon for me. You say bulletproof doors, I think of jail, police department, Pope mobile. I don't think of first grade, second grade, kindergarten, teacher with an apple, kids learning, nap time. Those don't resonate. That's part of the problem. It's part of the major problem that we have in this country.